Hello everyone, my name is Alpha. Welcome to Plummy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a wonderful day. So today is very exciting because I finally get my hands on hand fort on Berkeley. What what is the pack now? Cottage Living and this is the first time I built in Hanford on Bagley, but I think I will post this on Tuesday. So it's been almost a week since we got the pack, but actually I built this the morning after I got the pack. I mean, in my time zone, it was released at midnight, like Friday midnight, 12 a.m. So I downloaded the pack at the next morning, Friday morning at 8 or 9 a.m. and then I just hopped off to the game at 11 or 12 so this is my first attempt on building in Hanford on Bagley so if you see that I was being very indecisive or like took so long to figure out something please forgive me this is my first time and it always happens every single time I have a new pack like um, the last one was Dream Home Decorator and the um, Snowy Escape. Even the Snowy Escape one is not that hard for me, but I mean it's not as hard as this one because I know how the aesthetic of Japan and I know how the characteristic of the architecture and everything. So it's not too hard for me, but with this um, expansion pack, I know nothing about English cottage or like any architectural building in English I think because this pack is inspired by the like um, English cottage if I'm not mistaken so I know nothing about the style but I finally did some research like a few minutes before I opened the game I mean I already opened the game that morning but I wasn't so sure what to build and what type of build should I make. I mean, of course, I'm going to build a family home or maybe a cottage and basically just traditional builds like residential builds, not um, like community a lot. But I wasn't really sure what to build. So I hopped off to Pinterest and just do some research to know a little bit more about the style. So about the cottage core and about the like traditional builds I mean I even visit some of the lots like three or four lots to like understand the style better so I literally just like um, go to one lot and see oh this is how they do it and I just kind of like inspired by them but not like a hundred percent like duplicate everything no I, I still tried my best to implements the style in game with my own style so um yeah if you see that i was being very indecisive that's why and also this is a new pack so it took me forever to know what pack we have in the i mean i watched a few videos about the like whole built by objects and the cast items and the gameplay from some um, game changers but still it doesn't really help when you have the game and you have to like scroll one by one what items do we have and and what color swatch we have from each item and those kind of things so it took me forever and i finally built with one pack only so this is base game and cottage living only and i'm really sure that a lot of people will purchase this and will have this on their library because I think this is one of the most requested packs ever besides Generations and um, like Showtime, the Sims 3 Showtime um, pack and I think um, like some more base game updates like a refam version of base game like the babies and uh, cars and those things so um, I know that farming pack has been requested for so long and I'm 
to be honest i'm not a huge fan of farming i am a city person so i don't really like farming but this expansion pack changed everything so at first i thought that i won't be liking this pack at all i mean i just bought it just because my curiosity so um yeah it's not such a good idea to purchase something that's not very cheap and yes i still have some issue which i will um explain later so at first i just feel like this is not for me and that is really cool because i know that my most favorite expansion pack is eco lifestyle and i do know a lot of people not liking that but for most builders they do like that so it's based on your it depends on how you see the game like the like basically your own preferences but for my own preference i don't really like the idea of farming i didn't actually but it was before i got the pack and i built this build so it changed everything and i will say that this is going on my top three favorite expansion pack still my most favorite one is equal lifestyle i love that pack so so much and maybe the number two is either this or get together i mean the world itself i still really enjoy windenburg because it's bigger and it's it's just so beautiful but this is on the top tire if that makes any sense so i really really do like this pack even though i still haven't test the gameplay yet and speaking of which um, I did pre-order this from a website so I basically redeemed a code like a few days before the release date and um, up until I make this voiceover which is Friday night 11 p.m. GMT plus 7 so if you are in UK it would be around 5 or 4 I'm sorry 4 p.m. UK time so um, yeah up until now on my origin it shows as I have not purchased this pack which is ridiculous because um, I finished the build I I'm, I'm done play testing it and I just I'm so so confused now because I reached out to EA help on Twitter and they basically just keep silent they haven't reached out to me at all because I know one of the reason is I contacted them at 2 p.m. my local time which is about 2 a.m. US time so yeah it's it's basically just past midnight there and I do understand that but um, but based on my experience a few months ago that uh, I've, I've reached out to EA help a few times and, and they was very fast response so I don't know why and um, I see back on place on Twitter she also mentioned this that she didn't see any of the extra content like the uh, non digital on the go or something so i know that this issue happened to a lot of players and that is a bummer because i paid a lot of money for this pack and not just me like a lot of people paid a lot of money and it's so strange for me to have this experience because previously i pre-ordered a lot of packs like the snow escape eco lifestyle and the island living i think the last one or Digital, not digital university i'm sorry discover university so i had pre-ordered a few packs and i had no issue before so this is the first time i had the issue and yeah i know that i'm not alone so i believe that ea at least will fix this issue and also the sims um, official account on twitter they um, tweeted that they know that this happened because the because of something uh, on the website i'm not sure but um what i am going to say is it's just so disappointed <laughs> i've never had this issue before so yeah i really hope they fix this but i'll let you know on the um description box below if they fix it and if i could have my gnome on the go extra content if i'm not mistaken that's the name so 
Anyway, let's just talk about the pill. So this is the pawn and I accidentally made a heart-shaped pawn, which is crazy and um, that's accidentally and also I want to mention this so a few days ago for you a few days ago for me it's just a few hours ago I tweeted on Twitter that I found this um, trick to change the light thing color not the light color like the intensity of the light in build mode and I tweeted that and I had a few response that's very interesting so um, so a lot of people said that it's from um, a mod from Twisted Maxi and the mod name is Better Built By if I'm not mistaken and it's such a powerful mod just like tool mod but um, I have both mods on my game like I have the tool and the PvP um, mod and I didn't know that the reason why I could change the intensity of the light in build mode is because the better built by so I thought that it was from in-game and they didn't mention it on the patch note article if that makes any sense so I did something terrible that I thought it was um, from the game I thought it was in-game so a lot of people kind of very angry to me because I gave them a high hope to change that in build mode and I am terribly sorry to Twisted Maxi because I didn't know and I that's my bad because I didn't do any research before I just like hit the download button to update all of my mods so yeah that's that's on me I'm so sorry but if you want to change the intensity of the light not the swatch of the light if that makes sense and you are playing on PC or on Mac you could download the uh, Twisted Maxi better built by mod to have that feature so yeah I want to clarify that this is not um, this is not from the game but this is from a mod and Twisted Maxi himself is so genius. I love his mods so so much. They're very powerful and such a game changer. So if you want to download that, I have both links in the description box below. And this is kind of my clarification about that tweet because I did delete that tweet on um, Friday afternoon-ish or night or evening, I'm not sure because it was make me very anxious so anyway we are at the end of the speed build so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you could find it under my eid which is alpha tiara or under the hashtag plami sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery as well as the other link to grab the tray files from simple share so yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do, please be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this voiceover right now. Thank you so, so much for joining me today and supporting my channel. Enjoy the rest of the screenshots and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!